Greetings all, Devious Monkey. Today I want to talk about promotion, self-promotion. Like, how do you promote yourself? Two decades ago almost, I started out in photography. When I started to do that, there were a lot of sites that I joined, there were a lot of magazines that I got, there were a lot of websites that, that I frequented, so on and so forth, and I'm going to kind of go through a history. I mean, a lot of them, most of them in fact, are still in existence, but they're not really used because there's new kids on the block. So, you know, what do you do? How do you decide what you're going to do? Do you have the forethought and the vision to see ahead where the trends are going and what people will be using or won't be using? And, you know, I mean, the world and people are fickle and they can change their minds in, in a heartbeat. So you have to be able to decide what's best for you on how you are going to promote yourself. Because what's the point of taking all these pictures? What's the point of shooting all this video if you aren't going to share it with people and hope that they like it as much as you enjoy sharing it? Back when I first started, the, the big dog was Flickr. Flickr was the place where you could have a membership and it could be free. You didn't have to be a pro. Pro just made it a little bit easier to upload more often and to have a bigger amount stored. That's where I, I have made friends that I'm still friends with today because of our shared passion of sharing our vision. It was a fantastic website and it was really interactive and it was a great community. Very rarely did you come across people that were shitheads. And it was so wonderful to see all of the creative ideas and how they were implemented and, and how they were respected and so on and so forth. One of the new ones, and this was, I was reached out by somebody, thought that I should try this site out. It's called Viewbug. It's kind of like Flickr. A lot of contests, a lot of different groups, a lot of people sharing a lot of cool photography. So I thought, you know what? Screw it. I need to get back into the, into the world of showing my stuff and sharing it and finding new, new, ways to be creative, blah, blah, blah. Now I've been taking pictures since I got back into photography for like two years, but I just haven't shared that much of it because well, I just haven't. And joining Viewbug was my way of pushing myself forward to start sharing my stuff again. So I'm on Viewbug and it's a great site. If you want to go traditional, if you're a model human being shooter, there were places like Model Mayhem. Model Mayhem, I have had a love-hate relationship with because it was a great way for me to meet people back when I was shooting human beings, especially given that I was an artistic nude photographer mostly. It was a great way to meet people and, and I thought to cut through the shit and find people that, that I could work with. But Model Mayhem has been one that, that I have been on for you know the better part of two decades and I'm still there. In, in order to promote yourself, you had to be on sites like this, though. So you had to be on Flickr. You had to be on Model Mayhem if you were serious about it and you were trying to find people. And again, there were a lot of other sites. Now, back then, there wasn't, like, the world didn't have vlogs. YouTube wasn't a thing. You had to have a, a blog where you posted daily. Now, there were so many different blog sites that, that you could be a part of. For instance, I started with Tumblr, and there was also LiveJournal which I, I think I still have something on. Then there were other places that started to become big, like WordPress or Blogspot. And I have WordPress and Blogspot as well. Lots of sites out there, but it became almost a chore because yeah, eventually they got around to selling you templates and all that kind of stuff. And there were places that built templates based on WordPress stuff or on Blogspot or whatever, or LiveJournal. It became very difficult to, you know, if you wanted to stand out, you had to pay a lot of money to basically have somebody code you a, a, a WordPress site, or you had to know what you were doing. And it took a lot to really know what you were doing to stand yourself out. I mean, you could put a shitty little blog up and all that kind of stuff, like me, but it was hard to stand out amongst the billions of people out there that had them. Now we move into what's really become known today, and that is your, your Twitter, your Instagram, I say Tumblr, not a lot of people use Tumblr, especially since they changed their terms of services and they started ditching all of the nudity and all that kind of stuff. So for somebody that was a artistic nude photographer, it became kind of tough. Now I still have my Tumblr, I, I'm not getting rid of it, and I still post to it, and I take part and I look at other people's stuff and it's great, so on and so forth, but it isn't really a great site for promoting yourself, as far as I know, anyways, at least not in my small little world of it. Basically, we get down to the, to the two things. 
Instagram and Twitter. Instagram has been all over the board. I have been using Instagram since it first came out. And I remember my wife not using it and I was constantly taking pictures of her and us eating and food, you know, typical Instagram stuff back then and posting to it. And she's like, okay, what is this thing that you keep doing all the time? And I showed her Instagram and she then thought, oh, okay, there's some merit to that. And she started to get on it and all of our friends got on it. And we used to, you know, you build your community there and all that kind of stuff. And for me to this day, Instagram is not a professional site for me and that I don't use it to promote myself as a photographer or a videographer. I don't have my grid set up perfectly with a color scheme and this, that, and the other thing. I take a picture and I post it and that's all I intend to ever do with it. That's the way it goes. Twitter is kind of the same thing. I don't use Twitter professionally and a lot of people are really high on the horse about Twitter and how they use it for professional, like their professional life. That's what they do. They use Twitter, they use Facebook, they use, you know, whatever to promote themselves professionally. I, while I post videos and stuff and pictures, I don't use them as professional platforms. The next thing that that leads me into is that now today, every creator on YouTube is sponsored by Squarespace. So I've had a website for years. I started out in GoDaddy. So I've pretty much stuck with them all through this for the past almost two decades. And my website is hosted by GoDaddy. And I ha still have several that I have, like I bought the domain name for, for years. And I'm finally coming up due, I think, in another two or three years with the Devious Monkey. You know, so I'm going to have to pay for that again because, I mean, I'm the Devious Monkey. See him in there? The little monkey? The little Devious? That's just who I am. I'm the Devious Monkey. Some people just know me as Monkey. So I I'm going to keep it. And to me, the website is just a business card. It's just so that if somebody looks me up, they can see that I have a website and there's information to get a hold of me, so on and so forth. The whole point of this video is, do you even need a website when you have all this other shit at your disposal? Nowadays, there are, you know, with the NFC stuff, the near field communication that's on almost every phone and device and all that kind of stuff. And you can scan your phone and, and you know, pay for shit and all that kind of crap. So now there's all these things. I gotta refer to my list because I don't use any of them. But the first thing that I saw was a tappy card. It's just a little, you know, it's a little business card that you can program with all of your information. So you can put all of your social media websites in there. You can put your name, your phone number, hell, your resume. You can put all this weird shit in there. And then if somebody comes up and says, hey, you know, do you have a, you have a, you have a business card? Do you have a what? All you got to do is go up and tap their phone. And with that NFC, boom, it puts all that information on their phone for them to accept. And that's cross-platform. So it'll work on any device that has NFC capabilities, which these days is most phones, both iOS, Android, all that shit. Uh, there's another similar thing called Mobilo, Mobilo, whatever. And then you can even do like NFC business cards where you get actual business cards that have NFC chips in them, like Moo, Moo cards. Moo was a big thing back on Flickr too. Everybody had the little little mini Moo cards and all that kind of stuff. And all those little stickers that I have that show, you know, that my devious monkey and the, uh, the skull and crossbones with the fangs and all that shit, those stickers that I put on everything, I got all those from Moo as well. There's no shortage of things out there that you can use to promote yourself that don't require really that much of investment because you can get a Twitter account for free. You can get a Facebook account for free. You can do any of those websites for free. And then they have tiers so that you can pay for stuff if you want to, like with Flickr or Viewbug or whatever, that you don't need a website. So I'm wondering, you know, with all the people that are out there, well, you got to have, you got to have website, got to have website and all that kind of stuff. And it just so happens that I'm an ambassador for Squarespace. So you should get your website through my link so that I get paid for it and all that kind of crap. So I want to know what you guys do. You're all creators. You all have YouTubes. What else do you do? I mean, most people that are on YouTube also have a Twitter for sure. They've got an Instagram for sure, especially if you're a photographer. Do you feel that you have to do all this stuff if you want to be successful? Or do you think it's all bullshit and who cares? So I'm curious to, to know what you're doing and I just wanted to talk about it because I want to know how you guys are promoting yourselves. Now you know how I am. I just mentioned, you know, a, a dozen sites that I'm on, whether I really want to continue being on them or not, but that's just the way it goes. Okay. That's enough blathering on. So I just want to know what you're doing. Drop a comment down below. Just ask me any questions that you want and, and we'll figure it out. Otherwise, as always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.